Hi guys, welcome back to Heat Check. I'm Manny Day. I'm Chelsea Thomas. And in the episode of Uninterrupted, we're going with the champion, LeBron James and KD met with Kerry Champion, where they spoke about a bunch of different things. They drove around Akron, Ohio, LeBron's hometown, and LeBron had some words to say about our current president. The number one job in America, the point of person, is someone who doesn't understand the people and really don't give a fuck about the people. Okay, now of course a lot of us had certain opinions like this about our president, but one certain lady that works at Fox, we are not surprised, had this to say. All right, we're gonna create a new banner. This is a jump doc alert. Dun, 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 dun. NBA superstar LeBron James is talking politics again, and this time it's R-rated. Here's his barely intelligible, not to mention ungrammatical take on President Trump and a new ESPN podcast. Must they run their mouths like that? Unfortunately, a lot of kids and some adults take these ignorant comments seriously. Look, there might be a cautionary lesson in LeBron for kids. This is what happens when you attempt to leave high school a year early to join the NBA. So keep the political commentary to yourself, or as someone once said, shut up and dribble. There's so many troubling things about her rhetoric and what she said. For one thing, not only was she incorrect in saying that LeBron James did not graduate from high school, actually he graduated from high school in 03, so bong bong. Two, the way that she tried to belittle him and demean him and Kevin Durant, telling them to shut up and dribble, as if they are not their own men, and American men at that, exercising their First Amendment right of freedom of speech. And from, from my understanding of how Fox News and Laura Ingram and a lot of conservative and like-minded people, they, one of the most important things to them is freedom of speech. They're always talking about freedom of speech and how important it is to uphold the fabric of our country. So for her to try to silence him and Katie just for ex exercising their rights and voicing their criticism, and it's not, they didn't say anything that was so, you know, left field. They said that he doesn't understand the people and he doesn't give a fuck about the people. Where's the lie, Laura Ingram? Please tell me. I just want to know where the lie is because over the past, after last week's incident in Florida and Parkland that took place, and how he went on a frenzy of tweets and, tries to, and tried to insinuate that the reason the FBI didn't catch the shooter was because they had been preoccupied with this Russia probe. It's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. It's, it's outlandish. It's, it's, it's sad, it's disappointing, honestly, for me to, to, for us to still be dealing with this type of issue and this type of problem. And it goes back to what I mentioned before, <coughs> that because of the way President Trump, you know, was able to freely say whatever you want to say mm -hmm. and become a president. Now we see Fox News, we see people, people in your own life, you see just think they can say and get away with how whatever they can. And and it is it is majority white people who are saying these racist things. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy that I feel I see that we see it in these people in news using their platform in this way that's just so negative. Like how can you be so insecure in your own life right. that you find it you find the need to try and belittle someone? of not even just LeBron James or KD's stature, but just in general to try to demoralize them in this, like you said, almost slave mentality mindset. Same master mentality, Same yeah. Master mentality. It's, it's just it's like disgusting. How, how dare you try to, how dare you, how dare you try to shut up LeBron James? Like, I just want to know what you have accomplished in your life to make you think that you could even come at LeBron. Even if he was a nobody, just because he plays basketball does not mean he does not, he lives in this country. Does not mean he doesn't have the right to have an opinion on, on Trump or any politics at all. So how, how dare you? It's just, it's just so, it's so frustrating because it's like these people that they're, these people that they're attacking and criticizing and telling them to shut up and dribble, like they have accomplished so much. They have, and so I don't understand why they think that they can just try to shut them up. Like, LeBron has not only has he showed through his actions and through his philanthropy that he genuinely cares about the people and 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 he's he's always been very vocal about social justice issues but he he just he is an exemplar athlete on how to behave on the court and off the court for, so for for her to sit there and say that he is barely intelligible like bitch barely intelligible to you like because because you're not listening you're not you don't you, you're just like trump like you don't understand the people you don't understand where he's coming from 
you like it's just so frustrating. And and the thing is, I'm happy LeBron James came out and responded. You know, a lot of them saying that he's like athlete. He's more than just an athlete. He came out into being a center. Mm-hmm. He's a he's a father. He's a businessman. He's a role model to millions of kids, not just in the U.S. around the world. And it's it's just I can't keep saying crazy. It's just it's sad. It's just yeah. almost just disgusting at this point that we had to even you know live in this time in 2018 like things like that and we and we swear like america the home of the great and everything's so pretty here we, we're like far behind all right we are far behind in our mindset and our beliefs and our thinking if people can really go out and talk like this it's disgusting yeah and i mean we could talk about this for hours but instead of just focusing on laura ingram and her dumbassness and her ignorance and she called them ignorant too like I mean, Anyways, so instead of focusing on that, we are going to focus on LeBron and the great things he, ha- he has achieved and how he shows, how he proves every day that he's a great role model for young children, for people like me. I'm a, I'm a huge LeBron fan, and every day he, ins- he inspires me with his altruism, with his kindness. So here we go. million, the number LeBron's foundation has committed to 1,100 underprivileged kids from Akron to send them to college. This is just our first example of showing not only is LeBron not a dumb jock, but he has personally invested a large portion of money to furthering the education of young children in Akron, underprivileged children who probably would not have been able to go to college otherwise. 2.5 million, this is the amount LeBron James donated to the Muhammad Ali exhibit at the National Museum of African American History. I thought this was really interesting because a lot of kids need to learn about how, how Muhammad Ali stood for social injustice and stood for the freedoms for black America and the young adults. One million. The LeBron James Family Foundation spends at least one million per year on initiatives including programs that provide children with a safe haven to play, promote interest in academics, and provide adults with college resources, just to name a few. This is another example of how Laura Ingram does not know what the hell she is talking about. LeBron is far from ignorant. Education is one of his greatest passions, and that is shown to us not only in the money is allocated to these different organizations and his foundation and these kids, but also in the time that he spends with them. He truly cares about children. He truly cares about bettering the community, bettering his community, bettering communities he's never even been to. He's just great. 2.5 million. This is the amount of money LeBron James raised from the decision 2010 for the Boys and Girls Club in Greenwich, Connecticut. I mean, even for the one thing a lot of people hate LeBron James for, he found a way to make it positive. He found a way to donate his money to people who need it and for a good cause. So LeBron James, is is impossible to label him as a dumb job when everything about this man has been like for excellence and greater good. And what really like makes me like really love LeBron, not just his playing, like obviously to me he's the greatest player of all time, you can discuss that later, but this man grew up in, in a single parent home, with, he had no clue who his father was, and he could have followed the stigma, you know, going along with that line, but he chooses every day to be better than his dad, he chooses every day to be a better man, a better father to his kids, a better, a better entrepreneur, a businessman, so you attack one of the most influential athletes of our generation now, with, with facts and that, with, with things that aren't even facts, don't even make any sense. So before you do that again, please check your own facts and... You uh, better check yourself, Laura Ingram, because LeBron sad. will not shut up in dribble. Thank you so much, LeBron, for everything you've done. You've influenced so many people with your kindness, just your determination. Thank you so much, we need more athletes like you. You keep being great, man. Please, like, we love you, LeBron.